Thanks for joining me today. Yesterday, the Air Force made an announcement about a series of reductions across the Air Force intended to get at headquarters savings. Today, I wanted to simply level the bubbles for those of you in the CE Enterprise where at different levels, installations, FOAs, and MAGCOM, so that we all have the same perspective of what's going on from top to bottom. The first of this is, announcement was about a headquarters level reduction and include half and intermediate level headquarters. And so that is correct that the half staff at the air staff here, we are going to have fewer civil engineer positions doing the work that we're doing today or even doing some different work in, in tomorrow's days. The most important announcement of the day was really about the stand up of the Installation and Mission Support Center under AFMC. This center will begin assuming some of the responsibilities uh, for intermediate level headquarters such as Air Combat Command or Air Mobility Command. Unstated yesterday were also the fact that no changes were being made to our squadrons and no changes are being made to the Air Force Civil Engineer Center. Amidst the huge budget pressures that we've had in the past, the Air Force has chosen to preserve capability at our unit level. For us, it's our squadrons and at the execution level, it's the Air Force Civil Engineer Center. So as we balanced readiness, as we balanced modernization, we preserve that capability and that's incredibly important. The majority of the changes really though involve the intermediate level headquarters and so I'm going to spend a few minutes here. The stand up of the IMSC is going to be involved in several pieces and parts. The first thing at the major commands such as PACAF and USAFE, uh, we've identified positions that will be remained patched to that major command. We've also identified the need to establish operating locations for the IMSC at those headquarters across the Air Force where we currently have intermediate headquarters today. Then some of those positions will also be rolled up to create the IMSC headquarters itself and then there will be a series of positions eliminated as part of this process. When will all this occur? It's really going to occur beginning immediately. The provisional headquarters will stand up this month uh, as we go through the process and then on 1 October the field operating agencies that will be realigned to them will transfer administratively, such as the Civil Engineer Center. What won't change on 1 October is likely all the processes that are in place today. Because as you can imagine, there's nobody assigned to the IMSC today. There's no new way of doing business. There's no new methods. And so we're going to continue to use the processes. What will occur and begin occurring 1 October is the use of a series of switches, switches that will take place over one to two years. If you can think of old process, new process, you can't flip the switch to the new process until you have faces and, and the system built and the, and the team built to make that switch. And so beginning 1 October, over a period of one to two years is my expectation, we will flip those switches as that capability exists in the IMSC. So this gives us a great opportunity in the, in the days ahead to look for what we should be doing almost start with a clean sheet, although not entirely, but we can think about what we would like to do in the future, and we're going to need your help. How do we eliminate duplication? How do we eliminate the checker, checking the checker, checking the checker? We don't have the time or the money to do that anymore. How do we treat data as an asset? So when you enter the data at the installation level, we don't have to repeat and check it at the MAGCOM level and check it again at the HALF level, but you become an authoritative data source. We can do that. How do we make the best next investment for the next dollar or choose how to use your next hour of your time against the most important concept or most important problem we have for the Air Force? Those are some things that are opportunities for us that we can achieve. To do all of those things, though, is going to require your commitment. It's going to require your leadership. Each of you have a knowledge base. Each of you are professionals that have come in and know how to make our Air Force better, and I would ask you to do that. I'm confident you can because I've watched you throughout my career. I've worked alongside you. You all have taught me and trained me throughout my career, military and civilian. You've come alongside and you've made us better before. And I'm confident you're going to make us better tomorrow. So thanks for your service. Thanks for what you do. And I look forward to talking with you again.